guys, this is Johan. Welcome back to my channel. This is Yo-Yo Naturals and today we're going to be making a wonderful, rich DIY hibiscus and Alma deep conditioning hair mask. So let's just get straight into it, right to the water phase. So in this beaker we have 276.94 grams of distilled water infused with hibiscus flowers. Now the ratio of hibiscus to water is about 1%. Okay, so in this beaker we have 4.54 grams of glycerin. Okay guys, so this next ingredient, I really want to discuss it. It's a conditioning agent called cetrium chloride. This is a cationic ingredient. Our hair is negatively charged due to heat um, damage and, and constant friction causes a negatively charged. So what you want is a cationic, which is a positively charged ingredient. Just basically improves the static electricity found in your hair. So there is 18.16 grams of this inside of there. Now we have um, pemphenol. Now this particular pemphenol is pemphenol lip moss and it's not the powdery form that you're used to seeing me use. So you have 13.62 grams of pemphenol. Now this is bamboo extracts and uh, you guys are going to see me use this quite a bit. Now bamboo extracts help strengthen the hair. So it's 4.54 grams of bamboo extracts. Now we're just mixing and we're going to be moving on to the oil phase. Okay, in this beaker, we have mango butter, and the amount of mango butter is 36.32 grams of um, mango butter. In this beaker, we have Alma paste. Now, I want to show you how I created this paste. This is the Alma powder that I am actually using. Inside of here, I kind of infuse Alma powder with jojoba oil and let it sit for about one week. In the beaker you have 22.7 grams of alma paste. I try not to waste ingredients, so I always use the paste to make something with, and this is what I've done it for. Okay, so here we have satira alcohol. You have 22.7 grams of satira alcohol. This is BTMS 50. This is for the added conditioning um, and it's also cationic, so it helps with the feel and the slip. And we have 27.24 grams of BTMS 50. This is steric acid. It's also another fatty acid like satirial alcohol. Um, it just helps with the consistency and the texture of um, your products. And inside of that, we have 18.16 grams. And so all we're going to do is heat both the water and oil and combine. Okay, so we have heated both the water and the oil to roughly around the same temperature. They're both around the 168, 164 Fahrenheit. Right now I'm just testing to see how close they are. We want them to be around the 150, 160 and stay there for like 20 minutes just so that you can burn out any of the impurities of both the oils and, and what the water has. Okay, it's time to combine. You must always start with the water inside of the oil. It gives a better um, emulsion that way and you don't lose any of the products with, in regards to the oil phase. So we're going to just be blending quite a while. I'm going to speed it up very shortly. As you can see, I'm trying to get the last re remnants of the hibiscus infused um, distilled water. So now we're just going to go blast in and it's going to be sped up uh, about four times. We're just going to run through that because we're going to stop and blend and stop and blend and then stir. Although you can't see it, I actually did start with a few short bursts uh, and then worked my way into a consistent, steady burst. I'm just cleaning it out. It's already beautiful and thick. I'm just cleaning out the spatula because I'm going to use the spatula to actually stir and make sure that all the sides are actually incorporated inside of the blending stage.
All right, we're going to be whisking for a good 20 minutes. Although it's sped up, I have been doing this for about 20 minutes and it it's sped up by about four to eight times in various different places. I'm just going to continuously blend, scrape the sides and make sure that all the um, ingredients are actually being blended equally and that they're not just on the sides because this is going to get pretty thick. Okay, so I'm gonna give it one last stir and check the temperature. I know it's pretty much cooled down and we're gonna go down to the cool down phase. Inside this beaker, we have both essential oils and preservative. My preservative of choice is Optimum Plus. You guys see me use this quite a bit. The reason for that is that it's actually legal in both Canada, US and the UK. And so I do plan on selling in the UK and want to make sure that that's uh, available to me. And so we also have here rosemary as an essential oil. And I also ended up using a fragrance oil. And this is it right here, guava, just to give a little extra scent to that. And so you have um, 4.54 grams of preservative and 4.54 grams of essential oils inside of that. We're gonna give it a nice whisk because we no longer need the emergent blender. This is just to make sure that the essential oils and the preservative is well combined. This actual mask is very thick at this point. The only thing that's gonna kind of incorporate that is the whisk. We're gonna speed through that. I'm gonna constantly stir and make sure that everything is being whisked equally And there we have it, the finished product. It is a beautiful, luxurious, it literally looks like red velvet. It's just, the hibiscus just gives it this rich red velvety color and the smell of the hibiscus. The guava is a very light fragrance oil, so it just gives a little different tinge to the actual um, hibiscus, but you smell most mostly hibiscus. This is looking so lovely and I'm just amazed with the result of this and guys i want to just make this clear i literally never made this before it was an experiment and and that's just really what it was uh, i hope if you try it and let me know in the description below it how it came out for you and it how because it was i mean it's amazing i put it in my hair i did a complete um wash day with that and it is amazing this is a 16 ounce beaker size i made 16 ounces of this i'm about to show you how this feels on the skin. I, I can't even explain how great it felt on my hair. It, it seems like it's going to stain, but it actually rinses off with no stains behind. So just be really careful because it was quite messy in the bathroom. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.